Hey everybody, it's Reed Comics 81 and I'm back with another comic book haul video. It's been a little while since I put out a video. I have not been doing a ton of hunting, but a little bit here and there. Uh, I've been focusing a lot of my energy and time onto doing stand-up comedy, which I just started doing about a month ago. Well, actually, counting all the writing and um, developing the material, I guess it's been a couple months now, but... Yeah, so comics have been kind of put on the back burner, um, but I've got a small stack of books that I'm ready to show off. So, uh, let's see, where have I been? I've been to Second and Charles and three collectible shops, I believe. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with um, Second and Charles. I only got one book from there. Um, this is Ghost Rider, uh, Spirits of Vengeance, number nine. This is the first appearance of Vengeance. It's a book that I already own multiple copies of, but it's really hard for me to pass up a near mint copy of this for $2. So I went ahead and picked it up. All right, and that does it for Second and Charles. I have not had much luck there uh, lately. So moving on to a collectible shop, I bought this. This was a dollar, Captain America 453. For some reason, I was thinking this was the last issue of the series, but it is actually the next to last issue of the series. So. Whatever. Um, also picked this up. This is the last issue of Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight number 130. Figured that was worth picking up for a dollar. Also picked up another copy of Green Lantern 54, the refrigerator issue. High stand, uh, high grade newsstand copy of this. This will be the last time I ever buy this book. I promise. I think. We'll see. Um, yeah, I've got so many copies of this book. I just, God, I need to stop buying it. It's just getting ridiculous. Okay, um, moving on to another collectible shop. I had some credit there, so these are the books that I got with my credit. I'm happy to find a Near Mint Plus copy of this, Howard the Duck number 12. This is the first cameo appearance of Kiss in comics. Um, surprisingly, I've never owned this book, um, but... Growing up, I was the hugest Kiss fan. I, oh my God, I loved Kiss. I had a ton of their records. I had their eight-track tapes. Um, I had a pair of moon boots that I used to put on and pretend I was Ace Fraley. It was just ridiculous. I still love Kiss to this day. But yeah, I picked up number 12 and also found a high-grade copy, Near Mint Plus copy, really, really high-grade copy of number 13 as well, the first full appearance of Kiss in comic book form. And someday I'd like to go ahead and get that, um, uh, what is it called? I don't know, just the magazine, the first time Kiss is actually in comics, um, in magazine form, the one where they're like, some of their blood is in the ink. But that book, man, that has really blown up. You used to be able to get a high-grade copy of that book for 100 bucks. Now you're looking at like three or $400 for a high-grade copy of that book with the poster in it. It's just absurd. And I, I just can't see paying that much. So someday when I find a... Um, copy that's at an affordable price. Okay, also picked up Invaders number 20. This may or may not be the first full appearance of Union Jack. I'm not sure, but high grade copy of that. Needed it for the run, so grabbed it. Okay, also picked this up. A book I used to own and happy to own it again. Avengers number 46. First appearance of Whirlwind. Actually, this is... um. What was his original name? Um, this is where he changes his name to Whirlwind. Um, the Human Top. Yeah. Um, first appeared in Tale, an old issue of Tales of Suspense. But um, this is his first appearance as Whirlwind. So, uh, got that. Also got this, Incredible Hulk 176. High grade copy of that. Nothing special about this. Just... Um, Cool Herb, Herb Trump art. I just really like the series. I like this old trade dress and I like the art and everything. So grab that. Also found a super high grade copy of this. Captain America number 137 with this really awesome Spider-Man cover. Book I've been wanting for a while. So pick that up. Okay. Also found this high grade copy of Cap 211. Um, I don't think there's anything special about that. Um, might be the first appearance of this Nazi X character. I don't know. But grab that because it was cheap. Okay. 
was really happy to find this too. I've been looking for this magazine for a while, Conan the Barbarian, the um, movie adaptation. Um, this was ten bucks, and um, was happy to get this. Unfortunately, I got it home, and it's either this corner or this corner has a bunch of creasing on the back corner, so wasn't too happy about that. So I'll be looking to upgrade this book first chance I get. But this makes a nice reader copy, nice addition to my Conan collection. So either way, happy about it. Okay, and this brings me to Time Travelers, a collectible shop in Berkeley, Michigan. Um, found a few good things there. Found Tales to Astonish, number 53. Um, don't think this is uh, anything significant, but it's in really nice condition. The staples are, are firmly attached. The cover's attached. Um, no major like tears or chunks missing or anything like that. Smells good, so for $15 I thought that was a pretty nice find. Always looking to add these old Silver Age Marvel books to my collection if I can find them at an affordable price. Love this Jack Kirby art. Can't go wrong there for $15. Alright, also found Human Torch number 3. High grade copy of this. Um, paid $5 for that. Needed it for that short series, so why not? And also for $5, I was able to find issue number four. So um, with the addition of these two books, I now have that complete um, series. I think it's like an eight issue series or something like that. Eight or nine issues. So in essence, it's pretty much a, a mini series, even though it's not called that. But yeah, finally uh, glad to put that little series together. These are all reprints, but I think it's cool when you have a reprint of something with a new cover. I don't know, it's just kind of like it's reimagined. I think that's pretty cool. And I think these are some cool covers too. So, yep, yeah, got those. And that brings me to the last book in this short haul video. And this is something that I never thought that I'd find in the wild. Apparently, it's a pretty tough book to find, like even on eBay or at a show or anything. And. Paid $35 for this, and this is House of Mystery number 85 with this Jack Kirby cover, The Stone Sentinels of Giant Island. I just love this cover. I think it's really cool. I like all these old uh, Jack Kirby monster covers, and I like the colors on this one. I think the red, white, and blue work really well together. It really pops and grabs your attention. And um, there are two copies of this book on eBay right now. I think one is listed at like $65, and it's in fine condition, which is probably where I'd put this one. And there's another book on there that's like the seller's asking like $1,100 for or something stupid. Um, so obviously they're not trying to sell that copy very hard. but uh, So I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably like worth $65, $70 uh, or, or more, depending on you know how bad somebody wants it. But yeah, tough book to find. Glad to get it in my um, collection. Uh, just another really cool Jack Kirby book to add to the PC. And that does it for this time around, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. This is Read Comics 81 signing out. Happy hunting, everybody. Bye.